Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm guessing you're in exactly the same position as what I was a few moments ago. You own, and let me just get this right, and I'll pop this up on the screen for you, a Omnibus F4 flight control board at V3. And you've tried connecting it up to Betafly or iNav, as I'm doing in this case, and you cannot get it to do that. You cannot get SBUS to work. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this very quick impromptu episode. And the irony is, it's super simple to do. Now, there's no point me trying to pick up my board and show you on the screen because you just won't see it on the web camera. Instead, what I'm going to do, I'll show you a photograph of the board. Uh, I'll point out the pins which you need to solder. And I'll show you the settings which I've got in mind, which work. I can tell you, I've just been doing this for the last 30 minutes and it's driven me nuts. So if this saves you 30 minutes or more, then that's classed as happy days. So you will recognize this pinout, and on the right hand side of the board, you've got the uh, PPPM and SBUS input, okay? And of course, you've got your other pin headers for your motors, uh, or sorry, your speed controllers, or in my case, servos, because I'm using iNav with a flying wing. So you've probably been in connected up your SBUS. The SBUS is the furthest most in pin, okay? Obviously, it won't work if it's the wrong way around. But let me zoom in because on this board, and let me just zoom right in on here. So we're right up here in the top right hand corner. The top set of pin headers is where you plug your SBUS connector in from your receiver, whether I'm using the XAR, you could be using a different one. And then behind there, and it's an absolute toad to do. I've just had to do this with the pin headers on. Absolute ball bag. You need to solder this middle pin to the bottom pin down here. So it's not pins, they're little pads. You need to just solder them up very very carefully and then jump the two together. So you've got solder, you've got a blob of solder going from the middle one to the bottom one which says SBUS. And then I'll show you the settings which I've got uh, here in my setup. So uh, let me go into ports. You'll see that UART1, I've got that set as Serial RX. That's happy days. If you don't have that, press save and reboot then go down to configuration scroll down make sure you have serial based receiver ticked or enabled and then choose sbus now i'm using an xar so i've chosen sbus in there once you've been and made those changes press save and reboot in the bottom right hand corner then you can go to your receivers tab i'm here twiddling the sticks and it works honestly i've spent 30 40 minutes mucking around with this only to think Mm, that wonder what those little pads do and I've tried everything else every other combination and it is simple as soldering those two pads back up together now let me just put that back on the screen uh, and let me just zoom out so you can see the location on the board uh, so you've got the USB at the bottom of the board and then off to the right and again I, I would pick you up mine but you just wouldn't see it on the camera uh, is the way you've got your S bus connector there's three pads okay the middle pad is like ground and you need to connect the SBUS pad to the middle pad. So you need to make a solder bridge between the two and then happy days, <laughs> it works. So if you've got an omnibus, uh, what was it? V4 Pro flight control board version three, I sincerely hope this episode's been and helped you because it drove me nuts and I hope that hasn't driven you nuts. So for myself, Matt, cheerios.